Park Family Adventures. It's time to hit the road. Don't be a tosser. Put it in the bin. Welcome back everybody, Josh here, Pug Family Australia. Um, today we're down the river. It's pretty um, lush here at the moment, bloody grass is higher than me. Um, we're going to be looking for some wood grubs. And we'll do a catch, clean and cook if we can find any. Um, we'll give you a look at the river along here. Um, we're on a, we're probably about three mile or five K um, west of Narrabri. Um, there's plenty of sign around here. Give me a look, Kira. There's plenty of sign around here. Um, this is the old the tree, sort of tree that you get the grubs out of. I'll just give you a, a closer look. Here you can see that. That's where you want to be looking for them. I'll just give you a look around this area where we are at the moment it's bloody green as, it's like a jungle got to be a bit careful of snakes because uh, you can't see the bloody ground we'll take you through here and give you I'll take you through here and give you a bit of a look just got to be a little bit careful of where I'm treading at the moment there's another log here You can see this log, someone's had a fair crack at it. You can see this. See that sawdusty sort of stuff? That's from the grubs. So they'd be in here. They see them holes? Wood. That's, that's where you get them. They eat wood, guys. What happened? They eat wood. They eat wood. And you're going to eat them? Josie loves them. She thinks they're like lollies. This is the river. We'll um. I want to go for. <clears throat> I'll bring the boat out here in the next couple of days, and we'll put the boat in, and we'll go for a bit of explore up the river and have some lunch and everything else. But just check out the vegetation. To think it was pretty well bare dirt here four months ago. The drought was that bloody bad. This is how quick it bounces back. We'll leave you there um, for now. I'll get the um, have a bit of a poke around the axe and um, knock a few blocks off. There's another good looking log there actually. I'll just trot on. Um, I'll have a bit of a crack and when I find some, I'll come back. Um, found a couple guys. I found one. Then I found something else I want to show you. You've got to be careful of. Don't do that, Joe. <laughs> Pulling the bloody branch down in front of me. <laughs> um, it's human as bloody hell down here today. We'll, um, we'll get, try and get a few grubs out of this log and we'll go for a swim, but I'll show you what I'm looking at. Okay. Where are we? Well, hopefully that turns up all right. The shade and light's a bit buggered, but just a big old rotten log. I've just got my little axe thing there and just splitting it down. Um, what we're looking for, right there, look. Can I see? Can you see in there? There we go. Yeah. That's a. That's actually a. It's not small, but it's not big. It's a medium. It's a medium. Do you want to hold on to that, yeah. Joyce? Joyce, you can. I'm not that great. Oh, I'm scared. Just hold in the middle there, so it can't get you. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Ooh. Don't eat it. But what I wanted to show you also to be very careful of. Because you quite often come across these fellas, just stay back there a bit, you girls. What is it? I'll show you in a minute. Look at this. Holy shoot. Uh, I've got one of those on my throat. Get out of his That's Jesse, stay on the log! That's why I told you to stay on the log, and that's how quick it disappeared. I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> get on, get over there! It moved bloody pretty quick, but get on the log. Um, they're centipede, centipedes and they're about, they grow to probably 8, 10, 
up to 12 inches long. I got them on my toe. Yeah, Kira got bit by one one time and it didn't sting her, it only sort of nipped her, which was lucky because it's a trip to hospital if you get hit by one. Um, maybe you probably don't have to go to hospital if a kid gets bit by one, yeah, sure you do. Um, but you don't want to get hit by one of them, you've got to be careful because they, they're quite common in these logs. Um, I'll keep having a bit of a dig around here. I'll hand the camera back to Kira and she can just Dad, hold film this. me a little bit. Can you hold that, Dad? I don't like it. Just hold on to it for a bit and I'll just have a bit more of a crack like in. This. Don't put it near me yet. It's so weird. Dad, can you hold this? See what you're trying to do? Now? There's another one. Come down here, Kira. Oh. Is there a centipede? <laughs> the centipede would be there somewhere. Just don't. Yeah, I've got something. There's another one there. So you're just basically splitting this log long ways, and you'll see them in there. They're bloody one of the best fishing bait you'll get around here. That's only a medium-sized fella, but we'll. Don't I'll see me. Yeah. Dad, can you Here. hold this? No, I'm not holding it. I'll go and get a container to put them in because the kids don't hold them. We've been going for a little while now. Um, I've got enough for us to what we're going to do is probably taking about 15 minutes, I suppose. Um, pretty bloody hot work though, middle of the day, humidity will um, collect these up, I'll show you what to do. Please. We might do a bit of filming on the way back just to show you the river and we'll pull up at a spot up here and we'll go for a swim down here. Um, there was a heap of centipedes. Yeah, we seen, end up seeing uh, three or four of them big centipedes. Yep. Oh my god, mosquitoes. All I've got is Macca's cup. You could use anything. I just had an empty one floating around in the car. And you got a heap of them. Just put there. one, a bit of dust, another one, a bit of dust. Try and spread Get them out a bit. A mosquito. A bit of dust in there. A bit of this rotten stuff. <laughs> got a we heap. might even, these will keep for a fair while in this dust if they kept cool. Um, I'll probably keep a few for some bait and we'll go for a fish later on. That propeller there is a good one. Mm. I think that's it. Put a heap of that dust in there for them. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll, that'll do, that's actually a perfect little container for them, actually a Macca's cup. Yep. It's got the hole in the top and everything. Yep. I'll take some of this back with me back home. Because whichever, I'll probably only cook a few just to show you. And we'll keep the others for bait. Mm -hmm. I'll put them in a container and just break a heap of that up and put in the container with them. And they'll, as long as they're kept moist and, and cool, they'll stay for, they'll keep for ages. We probably could get a couple of hundred here. Probably could get a couple of hundred here if we really wanted to, but it's bloody hot and um, there's no great use for them at the moment, so... Oh. No, it's an one. Is that the one? Look how long the grass is here. Oh. We've just come down the river a little ways further. Um, down to a nice clear spot so the kids can have a swim. Where are they? You can see them in the background there. There's actually an old chair here that we can use. I'm just sitting in the shade at the moment. Um, I've noticed um, things are sort of starting to get a little bit serious here and um, we're self-isolating at the moment. That's why I was sort of planning on doing a few bloody fishing trips over to Copeland and that in the next few weeks, but that's not going to happen. So um, over the next couple of weeks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, take you on a tour around this area um, of all the free camping areas because I know there's not going to be anyone out and about at the moment and if there is we just won't go near them we'll just keep um, keep to ourselves and go further down the river or whatever but I'll show you the different um, camping areas there's quite a few it's uh, actually really good um, cod and yellow belly and catfish fishing around here it's been dry for a bloody long time but the water's got a nice uh, the river's got a nice bit of water in it and um, 
should be good. There's at least oh, sort of 10 good spots where anyone can come camp for free. Um, anyone that does watch this and, and comes down to these areas where I'm going to show you in the next few videos, make sure you take all your rubbish with you. Because if I come down and catch us down here and leave him rubbish around, I'm going to kick us up the ass. <laughs> um, yeah, just do the right thing if I do show you a few spots. Um, interesting times we have at the moment. We, uh, the Queensland board, we're only, we're probably, we're on the main highway between Melbourne and, and Brisbane, um, the inland highway. And today they're closing the Queensland border to, I think it's either tonight or tomorrow, um, just locking it down so no one can cross unless um, they really have to, which is going to have to be a pretty good reason. And the amount of bloody caravans on the road going through town at the moment is unbelievable. It's just like a procession um, heading north, um, which I, I don't know whether it's the best thing to happen, but anyway, um, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. We're just going to bunker down. The kids have are home from school, um, doing homeschooling at the moment. They're doing their classes online. So it's um, be a busy few weeks and see what happens, I suppose. Um, they're out here having a swim at the moment and um, yeah, we're just going to teach them different things and try and help them with their schoolwork. I'm probably not not the best person to be helping them with their schoolwork because I'll probably tell them all the wrong answers, but anyway. Um, we'll leave you there. I'll give you a bit of a look at the river here and we'll head in home and, and cook a few of them grubs up for you and show you how I cook them and, and whatever else. Here we go. This is the river here. This little spot here is actually one of the free camping areas. Um, which I'll give you more details and that on it. We'll bring the boat out here and I'll do a proper a proper review of the place. Um, back in the old days, oh, geez, we thinking 25 years ago now, I suppose. This was one of the best rabbiting areas in, around the town. We used to come out here setting rabbit traps and oh, easily get 10 or 15 a night without trying too hard. And yeah, they make a good feed, but you just don't get them here anymore. They, they let the um, Khaleesi virus and the myxomatosis virus go and pretty well clean them up, which is a good thing. But um, can't go rabbiting anymore. Right, -o, we'll leave you there and we'll catch you back at home. <laughs> we're back home, we're going to cook these bloody grubs up, um, Josie's chomping at the bit, she just wants to eat them, chew on them raw, but I'm not going to let her, we're going to cook them properly. Um, I'm going to show you a quick recipe today, an old bushman taught me back in the old days when I was a young fella. We got some cream cheese. What do we got here, we want to find the big ones, there's a juicy mm. one. There's a bit. Oh we've got that for juicy. Wait, mm. Stop! Juicy and tender. Oh, I'll just eat that raw. Oh, yeah. um, we'll just do two up at the moment. First of all, Jesse stole one. Give them a quick rinse off. Are they dead? A bit of water. Are they alive? Yeah. Look. Oh, ew. Rinse it off, guys. Yeah. What's that? that all done? Yeah. Wipe his face. <laughs> Oh, Not too bad. Oh, yours in there. Rightio. First thing we'll do, we'll put them, dispatch them. I won't show this part. Just... Show Josie. Josie, dance. Righto, everyone. Grubs are dispatched. First step, what we'll do, they still start are, at the eh? tail there and just Work that out. Look at the heads. Um, They're moving. That's the guts. Mm. You'll feel it. Feel that it's poop. 
I mean, you can eat that stuff. You can eat them raw if you're desperate in the bush or whatever. Ew, is that his poop, Dad? Yeah. Poke that back in there like that. Pull him out. Ew. We've got two grubs ready to go. <coughs> you can eat them raw, straight out of the tree if you're really desperate. Um, but if you eat them raw straight out of the tree, that's what you're going to be eating. Did you get the poop or is that the poop out? Now the first step, um, doesn't really matter what brand you use. You can notice the brand, what I do. Okay. Get a new syringe. That's from the puppies. Suck it up like that. Put that oh. in there like that. Oh, Fill him back up. It's filled back up. And then put a... And just get a toothpick. Yeah. And put, poke it through the end. Poke it through the end, just to hold where it closed. The head, where the head was. And, and then repeat the, the process. Of how many you want, I guess. However many you want. You is can put out? something is else in there if you want. What else are you going to put in it? Oh, you can put bacon. Can put onion. What about whatever Vegemite? Whatever you like, really. I'll just clean that off a little bit before I go sticking it back in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a heap. That's yum. It's cream cheese. No, no. There you Not go, you got the grub cheese. there again. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Just put poke it. a stick through it. Oh, peer and there's whatever some it's more grubs in there. Like put a toothpick through there. We've got. Oh. There you go. There's two. <laughs> well, it down. Yeah, I can see. I, know. I knew she was going to jump out. <laughs> this is my cat. This my is, cat? This is. My my cat is Fabby. Right, out, guys. Cameraman's not paying attention to what she's doing. <laughs> Half no. asleep there. Yeah, you probably am. Um, Kira gets to eat that part. No, I don't. That's just gross. You do. She doesn't know it yet, but that's what's going in her dinner tonight. Uh, I won't. I won't film you. I'll film everything else. <laughs> right, I'll show you over here. I've got some oil on the stove. Just um, plain vegetable frying oil. Like that stuff up there. Um, I don't know whether that's hot enough yet. I'll just test it. My name is Mommy. What? <laughs> You're going to eat that one. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm going to eat the biggest one. Yeah, yeah, I think that's hot enough. Yeah, just good. stand back with that. You stand back too. Ooh. That's what you want. That's what you want in here. Clean in it. Smells like oil. Smells like Give them a couple of minutes to cool down and we'll take them over here and we'll get a taste test going with Josie. She's, she's our taste tester today. Ready? Watch me dance. <coughs> <laughs> Smells burnt. Yeah, it's only the end bits. Mm, and they're a little bit. Why is that part clear? They're a little bit overdone because um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know. I'd, like things overdone, just in case. There you go, Joe. Dig into one, hold it like that, and go. Now, let's yeah. see. Eat it. poop in there. No, I'm going to clean it all out. How is it? One out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? 
Bush taco. How is it dead? Can you taste it now? How is it? It's actually really good. One out of ten. That tastes bloody nice. Ten, ten, ten out of ten. I want another one. <laughs> <laughs> we might cook the rest up. Um, we'll leave the video there for today. Thanks for um, watching the video and um, as long as we can get out, we're self-isolated here and we're only coming home and out to the river and um, other places where we're not going to come into contact with people. Um, until we get totally locked down, we'll continue to do um, this videos like I said before. We'll start doing a few videos of just the local area. Um, free camping areas, there's quite a few sp nice spots on the river we can take the boat out and put the boat in and show us around and everything else. And um, we'll leave it there, we've got them other grubs out, I don't know whether Josie's going to the cook them or eat them. <laughs> Righto, we'll leave it there. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Yes, subscribe. We'll catch you later. Up. Make sure you turn it green.